Good afternoon, viewers. You're welcome to Standard TV, Federal Polytechnic, BIDA. You're welcome to your favorite program, The Ideal Business. The Ideal Business is a business which is aimed at educating the public on the necessity of owning a business and how to become self boss My name is Omotola Uyilade. Today, we'll be looking at cake as a small-scale business. First of all, we'll go into what cake entails, the origin of cakes, the varieties of cakes. Let's go on a short break. Do you wish to change your cream or you are looking for a perfect place to get a perfect look or a perfect color to moisturize your skin? Or you wish to smell nice, you can visit Senorista Cosmetics at Etsu Yaya Park Bida. You can call us on 070-3031-3035 or 070-3031-3033 or visit our website at senorita at yahoo.com. Welcome back from that short break. Now let's go to the history of cake. The term cake is of Viking origin, which is gotten from the word Norse, and in Greek language it means kaka. The ancient Greek called cake plantos, which was derived from the word flat. As it is known, cake is a form of sweet food, which is made from flour, sugar, and other ingredients that is usually baked. In the oldest form, cake was modifications of bread, but modernly, it covers a wide range of pastries. Now let's go to the varieties of cake. Cake has the various varieties. We have the short cake, we have the coffee cakes, the bread cakes, the butter cake, the sponge cake, to mention but a few. Sponge cake are made from whipped eggs, sugar and flour. They primarily rely on trapped air in a protein matrix to provide leavening. Butter cakes. Butter cake is made from creamed butter, sugar, eggs, and flour. Butter cakes rely on the combination of butter and sugar, beaten for an extended period to incorporate air into the butter. The coffee cake. Coffee cake is often used as breakfast for tea. We have the chiffon cakes. Chiffon cakes are sponge cakes with vegetable oil, which had most nice to the cake. Chocolate cakes are butter cake, sponge cakes with other flavored, with melted chocolate or cocoa powder. And factors to consider in a cake. A good cake should be fluffy. That is to say that a good cake should be thick. It shouldn't be something that will be drawing. A good cake should not have frozen ingredients. A good cake should rise completely and not taste like butter. A good cake should be sweet. First of all, for us to know that a cake is being cooked, because majority of the audience do not have idea of cooking a cake. A cake that fails to rise, a fail, cake that fails when baking it, you have to cook such cake. Cakes are cooked when it's the oven door is left open and the cake becomes unbaked then you have to cook your cake. The processes of cooking a cake is that after the cake is unbaked, then you cover it in a pot and leave it to done. At a low, not too low, not too high temperature, you cook your cake to make sure it's rice completely. Now let's meet our correspondent, Susan Odi, who will be taking us on processes of baking a cake. In our work today, we believe that cake is a priority when it comes to occasions like wedding and birthday parties. If there is no cake, we believe that the party cannot hold perfectly. When you test cake, you believe that, yes, there's a sweet life in it. And here with me today is Miss Sisadiza Tijani. She will tell us more about how cake process is being made. Good afternoon, Ma. Afternoon. Okay. Ma, today you, you have to tell us the process in which cake is being made. Okay, um, here with us we have um, so many things on the table. This goes with, um, we have flour here, and here we have our lime for the preservative. Here we have our baking powder, here we have our egg, and here we have our flavor, and this is our oil. 
and this is our seed fruit, and this is our icing, and here is our milk, and here is our pot, um, butter, and here is our nutmeg, and this is sugar, and this is cup for the baking of the cake. Cake serve as a priority in celebration. Why is it that way? Well, cake is very important in Nigeria, or as a Nigeria in a whole today, because most people use cake in all the occasions in the world. When you're doing your wedding, there is cake there. Even you're celebrating your anniversary, there is a cake there. So cake is very important in our society. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, can you tell us the varieties of cake we have? The varieties of cake we have. We have vanilla cake. We have um, queen's cake. We have chocolate cake. We have pan's cake and so on and so forth. Okay, what kind of cake are we making today? What the kind of cake we're making? The kind of cake we're making today is cupcake. As you can see, here is our cup. Those are the size we use in making the cake. So we'll make cupcake today. Why do you choose cupcake? Cupcake is very simple in making. Why baking your cupcake? It's very, very simple because you bake your cake. It won't give you much headache and it won't consume most of your time. It's easy to bake. Customers do ask that, okay, we need a simple thing to celebrate maybe our birthday. This one, it goes for it. So you can use this one, very simple. Within 30 minutes, you're through with your cupcake. What are the health benefits of this cake we are making today? Yes, health benefits. It has a lot of health benefits, but I'll mention a few. It's good for the health, for the health. Also, people, maybe some people take cake in the morning on diet. Some people take cake for their breakfast. So it's very important. The preservation we use, can you tell us more about it? Well, the preservative we have here is um, lime. Also, you can preserve your cake in refrigerator. You can use orange too, and you can use lime. But right now, in my own baking aspect, I'm using lime for my preservative. Can you tell us why you choose lime as your own preservation? Well, I choose lime because it health benefits because the lime is very important to our health. And most of the customer, like right now, if a customer walk in to request for a cake, some people, you ask them, what preservative will you use for the cake? At times, I'll go with lime because it's very simple. It's for health benefits. How about those that doesn't have idea about the preservation of cake? Well, you tell them, once the customer comes, you're the one that will introduce them that, okay, if you, your cake wants to last two to three days or four days rather, you can tell them that, okay, if you're not using your cake now or rather you're using it half and you need a little bit out of it. So you tell them that, okay, do you want me to use lime or do you want to store in a refrigerator? Those are the steps you need to ask your customer before baking your cake. Okay, that sounds really interesting. I heard about alcohol as a preservation of cake. How true is that? Yes, people use alcohol quite okay, but right now I'm using my lime. Alcohol, why I'm not using alcohol is that alcohol is good. A little bit of it. If you're using alcohol on your baking of the cake, you're using a little bit of it because alcohol is very bad to human health. So a little sip of drop is okay for the baking. The negative part is that when you take the cake, if you're not uh, careful in putting the alcohol in your cake, the person that is eating the cake might fall dizzy. It can even fall ill, and it will lead to a disaster stuff. If someone wants to go into a cake business, how much do you think the person will have before going into such business? As a cake starter, well, all you need to do, 1,017 naira based on the starting point. What about those that doesn't have anything doing? What are your advice to them? Like those that really want to start the upcoming youths that I want to embark in a, a one-man business. What, do, what are your advice to them? The advice I need to give those people out there is that cake is a very simple business. All you need to do is should try something. Don't sit idle just because you don't have enough money. 
in cake business is only like maybe 5,000 to start a cake business. With even your 600, you can start a cake business. And in that 600, you can achieve a lot. Thank you. Wow, really interesting. My advice to you out, out there, cake is a very interesting thing to go to. Imagine her saying that just two turner can do a cake. As in those that doesn't have anything to do, you can at least start a business of about two thousand naira and it will profit you a lot. Go into catering, go and learn more about it. It will really benefit a lot. Thank you very much. I meant Susan Ruben Odi. Thank you, Susan, for taking us on the processes of learning how to bake cake. People eat cake not minding the effects of cake on the health. Do we know that cake increases the human ears? Cake increases the human tummy. And the sugar content in cakes produces pro protestion, which makes the ability of the sugar level in the body to high. Eating of cake can also cause diabetes. We have various methods of preserving cakes, which are lime, alcohol, refrigerator. Many people do not know that we can use alcohol to preserve our cakes, but not minding, cake that is preserved with alcohol has various effects on the body. A cake that is preserved with alcohol are not healthy for the children to eat. And most individuals have this high level of sugar in them, that whenever they take eat or take cake with alcohol, they become drunk. Another big question that comes to our mind is if cake is good for pregnant women. Everybody loves to eat cake. Cake is good for the health, but is cake wise enough or healthy enough for pregnant women? No, cake is not wise for the pregnant women to eat. Pregnant women that eat cakes have big babies in such a way that it becomes difficult for them to conceive naturally only if they want to conceive through operation, that is CS. Thank you for staying with us. And don't forget to tune into the same station, same time next week. My name is Omotola Oyelade.